Hey you, how's it going? I hope you are enjoying spooky season as much as I obviously am. Tonight's video is gonna be really, really fun. We're gonna do a little puppy Halloween costume fashion show. Right, buddy? Are you excited? You're so exciting. Yeah, I know. You're gonna be a good boy, right? You're not gonna attack me or bite me. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, His Highness Salem. The Dark Prince <laughs> himself. <laughs> right, buddy? That's who you are. We are going to be trying on puppy Halloween costumes and a few cute little outfits as well. Are you so excited? Buddy. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time. So I have a few costumes here as well as an adorable new winter wardrobe for my little guy. So uh, he will be modeling all of those for you this evening. <laughs> Are you ready, sir? Shall we begin? Yes. We have some persuasive morsels here and they will be distributed accordingly. Right, buddy? Get a couple ready because I know you're going to be such a good boy. You already being such a good boy. There you go. First costume is just this cute little pair of bat wings. I got them from Target last year for Sadie, but uh, they came on this huge harness. It was enormous and it was way too big for her. And I didn't realize until recently that it just opens with Velcro. So I could have taken them off and put them on her actual harness, which is this harness has been passed down to my little gentleman. Let me do it, buddy. Let's try the wings. Good boy, good treats. You're so handsome, buddy. Well, you know what? Let's take off your collar. You don't need your collar right now. You just want to bite them. You want to run around in them? You fluttering your wings. Shake. with your bat wings. I'm very proud of you. Are you ready for your next costume? This is obviously a rainbow three-eyed horned monster. I got it from Ross for like eight bucks and it's so cute. Try it on buddy. You want to be a three-eyed little monster? You're already a monster. Here we go sir. Pardon me. There we go. There we go. The only thing is that it sheds a lot gonna have rainbow crap all over my house, which is okay, actually. <laughs> You're a good little rainbow monster. I'm so proud of you. What do you guys think? I love it. Thank you. You wanna go run around? You mean a good boy? Yes, you were. There. Here, kill it. This one, a narwhal. I got it from Target a few weeks ago this year. And <laughs> it's got a little hollow horn. Might be too bright. In this lighting to tell but it's also hollow here on the sides and then obviously the shiny rainbow exterior you want to be a narwhal buddy that's cute it's a little big huh good boy you're very handsome boy. come here <laughs> oh it's so cute Good boy. Are you a mystical little sea creature? Mm -hmm. Good boy. Do not feed the narwhal. He is crazy. He will kill you. I'm laughing at you, yes. <laughs> Are 
Where are you going? You ready to take it off? <laughs> the last costume I have for him is this. And I actually made this. It's a little cape. I've had this material for a long, long time. I mean a long time, like at least 15 years. And I always wanted to make something cool with it, but I don't really do much with fabric. So I've always just held on to it. I actually got this idea from my dad. I was telling him how fast Salem is when he runs down the hallway. And uh, my dad suggested that I make him a cape. I thought that was a great idea. So I did. And it was so fast that I don't even think it's worth it to make a whole video on it, but I will tell you how I made it. So I went on Pinterest and searched for dog cape pattern, and the first one that comes up is actually the one I liked the best. So it's from this website, Mimi and Tara, and down here you have a nice simple example of a doggy cape. I sketched out something similar on a little note card here so I could write down Salem's measurements for these main lines. I measured him around the back half of his neck for the collar and then up here where I wanted the collar to end as well as the length of his back to see how long I wanted the cape to be and then I kind of measured around his bottom to get an idea of how wide I wanted the cape to be. To make my pattern I used this wrapping paper that has a grid on the back so it was really helpful. I sketched the pattern out with the appropriate measurements and then just kind of connected the dots. I sketched half the pattern and then folded the paper in half so the cape would be symmetrical. I was so excited making this. It's such a simple pattern that even I can't really mess it up. I pinned the two pieces together and then sewed that seam and then hemmed the cape all the way around. I cut out a scrap piece of felt in the shape of the collar and sewed that on the inside as well to give the collar some structure. Then I added these two little strips to either side of the collar. Then I added a piece of Velcro that was already sticky. Last, I just trimmed the corners of the Velcro because they're actually very, very pokey. And that's it. It was so easy. And I'm so happy with the way it came out. Let's put it on him. Are you ready? All right. You make a good boy? Good boy. Plenty of room. All right, buddy. Look at you. Face this way and then they can see. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, buddy, you're adorable. This is my favorite, I think, of his costumes. I'm so pleased with it. Right, buddy? You look so handsome. You're such a handsome boy. Mm -hmm. So I plan on making him an obstacle course eventually and I think it would be so cute to put his little cape on while he does his obstacle course. Good boy. Boy. Get the zoomies. Ready? Set. Go. Go. Well, that was it for the costume. So next I have his new wardrobe. I like to shop for doggy clothes around Halloween, like everything else, because they've got the coolest stuff out this time of year, right buddy? This is his first little t-shirt. You may have seen it in my Hollow and Glitter Bats video recently. He was wearing this shirt. I think it's so adorable. It's got the little skeleton and the little creatures and the pockets and the little bow tie. Let's see. There we go. Good boy. There you go. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> I see these are. They're very cute. Good boy.
Next, we have this adorable little One Cool Ghoul t-shirt. I love it. So cute. And you are definitely one cool ghoul. Right, buddies? Size extra small. Give me. Good boy. Good boy. Buddy, you're very cute. You want your one of your friends? Here. Get me ready to... <laughs> Next is this adorable little hoodie. I cannot wait till it gets cold and I can put it on him and I'm hoping that he will turn into more of a snuggler when it's really cold. So let's try this one on. You ready? My mummy loves me. How cute is that? Oh, it's so perfect. I love that they had something purple for him because he likes purple. Good boy. Oh my gosh, aren't you so handsome? You handsome rascal, you. This is a snuggly one. Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> Last, I have this super cute little hoodie, Mommy's Little Monster. It has these adorable little horns. And this, I think, is my favorite of his new clothes because he is obviously Mommy's Little Monster. She's a villain. If you follow him on Instagram, which if you don't, you should, you will see that he is a real monster sometimes. <laughs> Come here, let me see. Oh, good boy. You my handsome monster. Oh, see, he's turning into a little monster right now. A little demon baby. You did so good. I'm very proud of you. You did so good with your costumes and your outfits. There you go, baby boy. And that's it. You're done. You're done. Yay, buddy. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed our little Halloween costume and outfit try-on haul. <laughs> Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It really helps the channel and whoa, <laughs> what was that? You little daredevil, yes. <laughs> and if you haven't already and you would like to come back and hang out, please subscribe and do that. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow Salem on Instagram and you should because this boy cannot take a bad picture or a bad video. He's so damn cute. So at Salem Skelter. And you can follow me on TikTok where I have a lot of fun just being goofy. Let me know which costume or outfit was your favorite. We're gonna go and edit this video in snuggle. Next video, I believe, is pumpkin carving. So I love making jack-o'-lanterns and I'm gonna try to get my husband to do it with me. So we'll see. I may be doing it alone, sadly carving a solo pumpkin. Thanks again for watching. I love you. We'll see you soon. Bye. What are you doing? Ouch! What are you doing?